This is the exciting second thing you can do with a velocity versus time graph, is you can find the area under. The area under a graph is actually the displacement, okay? Or, in, or the distance in this case, right? Um, so if you look at this thing, what I'm saying is that the area under this graph here, right, we figure out all that area, that would give us how far the object went, okay? Well, how do you find that area? Well, this area here is a rectangle, right? There's a rectangle there and a triangle, yeah? So the area of this part here is one half base height. The base is five and the height is two, right? So it's one half, five seconds times uh, two meters per second, right? Okay, which is, let's see, 5 times 2 is 10, half of 10 is 5. And then, you know, the units are just meters because it's seconds times meters per second, right? The area of this one is just um, length times width, right? So 5 times 2, right? So that's 10 meters. And then, here we go, it's 15 meters. Now, is that answer right? Um, yeah, let's look at it, right? Our initial velocity u is equal to 2 meters per second. Whoops, what am I writing? 2 meters per second, right? The final is 4. Right, the formula we would use is s is u plus b over 2 times t. So let's try it out, right? 2 plus 4 over 2 times 5. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 5 is 15. So yeah, our area works, right? That's kind of cool. In fact, check this out, right? Isn't that just the average of two, 2 and 4, which is 3? Let's draw a line at 3 and you'll see what's going on. Here's a line at 3. Do you see that if we want to find the area under that line, the area here, if we just chopped this part, see, look, look at the red line. The red line is above that line I drew here and it's below here, right? So if you chop this off, and put it in here, right? You'd fill that area in. So clearly the area under the blue line is the same as the area under the red line. That's cool, right? So that's what this formula does, is it just makes a straight line and does a length times width. Yay. I'll derive other formulas using graphs in class.